Hi everyone, my name is Gabby and welcome to my channel, Nails in Orbit. So I did film a proper intro for this, but the lighting was absolutely horrible because I'm in the middle of a nail room makeover and I just couldn't figure out how to edit it to look good. So we're going to do the intro like this. Um, so today we are drawing the buzz on Maggie, if you guys have ever seen that show. And then I'm going to show you the Rainbow Ice Collection from Ball Pit and I'm going to teach you how to draw a star in real time. So don't forget to subscribe and like and let's get started. Hi everyone, so first we're gonna start off by showing off the new Rainbow Ice Collection by Ball Pit. So first, there's four colors. First, there is this purpley color, and it's like a purpley green, which I absolutely love. And then Queen Frostine, which is the blue one. This is definitely the most transparent out of the four. I absolutely love it. It's like if you wanted to use like chromes, the chrome powders. This is like a great substitution. You don't have to be messy with the chrome. And then this is the Aqua Aurora. Aurora. This is a favorite for sure for a lot of people. It's the most opaque one. So um, it's really, really pretty and bright. And then Strawberry Ice, my favorite one. This is the pink one. So it's kind of like pinky, yellow, pinky, orange-ish. I absolutely love it. And this is all four of them together. If you liked Poltergeist in the Halloween collection, you will definitely love these. And then the other new thing that's coming out, ah, or came out, is the Beginner Batty Brush. It is 15 millimeters. I love 15 millimeters. So I was so excited when she told us she was coming out with these. And they're finally out. I'm so excited. So I got my 15 millimeter. I'm so excited to use it today. And of course, it is double-sided, of course. And um, I'm so excited to use it today for the Buzz on Maggie. That's what it's called. <laughs> I haven't seen it in a long time. So for the base, I actually didn't want it to be as transparent as the colors are by themselves. So I am using Glacier Girl from the Holiday Collection as the base. Um, I'm just throwing one layer on there. It just is like, so it's not going to be white, white. It's more of like a milky, jelly, transparency looking white. And then I'm putting, I'm alternating between Polar Purple and Aqua Aurora. Um, one nail Polar Purple, one nail Aqua Aurora. I do two coats on top of the Glacier Girl, um, and that's just how I want it to look. I wanted it to look just light, but not completely see-through, if you know what I mean. So that's what I did, and I absolutely love it as a base, so I'll let you watch those two colors, and then I'll show you guys what I do next. All right, so this is the alternating colors together, looking beautiful. You can see the difference between like the paint, the purple and the green. And then I just matte top coated it for now because we are going to do the art now and that helps with the glare and makes it easier to paint. And I just wanted to show off the matte I'm also using that also came out. This is the ball pit matte. You can put the gel right on top of it. The only gel that I would be careful with putting on top of it is jelly, just cause I've known jelly to stain stuff like this. So just make sure you're careful with the jelly. Just put that on a separate palette, but everything else my dnds my ball pits my devs they've all been great um just be careful with the jellies so now we're going to move right into the character so today we are doing maggie from a buzz about maggie i don't know if you guys have ever watched this show i watched it a long long time ago i feel like it was in the same category as of like do you guys remember like dave the barbarian uh like Cusco's like new school like not the movie but like the show I feel like it was that same kind of category like kind of weird shows or maybe fish hooks or maybe that was after it but just like the more obscure um Disney shows I showed my sister-in-law she was one of the only persons people that actually knew what I was talking about and she said she loved this show so that was kind of fun so we're just going to do Maggie we're going to do a simple set today just Maggie and then I'll show you guys a tutor tutorial on how I draw stars because I love drawing stars it's very fun so we are just drawing Maggie the same color block way that we use we usually do. But just so you guys know, in the next video, I'm going to start um, with a sketch of the character because I do it on a lot of nails. So I just wanted so I can show you guys the two different ways because usually I do the color blocking way. But today I found I had a little bit of trouble with my placement, and I was like, you know what? Let's try the way that a lot of people, I mean, start. So that in the next video, look forward to that. Just a little different way to set up your drawing so we are just color blocking like normal using our 15 millimeter
So I know it's been a while since I've posted, but I took a little break around the holiday season. I actually went to go visit my grandma in Ohio, and then I just relaxed a little bit, and it's very exciting. I did some crochet. That's my that's my um, hobby, I guess. I love crochet. Nails and crochet are my absolute favorite. Um, so we had a whole bunch of fun and very relaxing. So yeah, I just took a little break, but I'm back better than ever and ready to give you guys much more content and much more videos um, to come. So I'm very excited. Let me know if you guys did anything fun over the holiday season and what you did. I'm really excited to hear about it. If you got any fun, cool uh, Christmas presents. Um, I feel like a kid, like, I feel like a kid, I'm literally about to be 28, but my stepmom's always like, make a list. And she like makes us make a list. She even tries to make my fiance make a list. But I always say my gift will be a gift for him too. <laughs> so it's very fun, very fun holiday season. And we have a little sister and she, it's really fun, like going every Christmas to watch her open all her presents. Cause she always gets so many and I just love it. It's very fun. We still get that like kid Christmas since we have a little sibling. But yeah, my twinsie and I always make a list. She always fills our stockings <laughs> with like one stocking. We just pick a favorite candy and she'll fill the entire like a big stocking with our favorite candy. So last year she did um, like a full stocking of Airhead Sour Bites for me and I absolutely love them. And this year I got Airhead Sour Bites, the Hershey's Peppermint Kisses and Cream, and then some Airheads as well. And then my sister got um, little Nerds, Nerds Clusters. If you guys have never tried those, phenomenal. So Nerds Clusters and I think it was what she asked for. So I think that's what she got. Um, just Nerds Clusters, but like a huge bag. <laughs> so we did the same thing for her this year and got her a whole bunch of candy for her stocking, just filled to the brim. Like nobody needs this amount of candy, but every single year we love it. It's like a little tradition now. <laughs> so it's very fun. And um, yeah, so very fun holiday season. So the reason I like this 15 millimeter so much is because it's 15 millimeter, which is, I've just always liked the longer brushes. And then she also made this one a little bit, um, thicker, I guess, like slightly thicker. Um, it's cause beginner batty. It's just a little bit easier. It's made for people who are just starting out and wanted to practice their nail art. I absolutely love it. I've, I'm, even though I'm not necessarily a beginner, I will always use it. <laughs> it's my favorite, but yeah, just a little bit thicker. Um, when they're longer like that, it's like your lines are a little bit less wobbly and you have to be you have to be less particular about your lines, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it, but when you have like a swoop, there's like a lot of room for error because the brush does a little bit of the work. So it's not like, well, like super wobbly the whole time. Uh, if you do like a shorter bust, like if you compare like a 15 millimeter to like a nine millimeter, you have to have a lot more hand control for a nine millimeter, but it's great for like super little details and portraits and stuff like that. But if you're doing straight cartoons like this, a 15 millimeter is so nice. It's just easy. I love it. So that's why I'm so happy to finally have my 15 millimeter. Yes. Yes.
right, so these shoes are the reason I wanted to try the sketching way first because her shoes are iconic. And I definitely missed the whole bottom of the cool part of the shoe, like the thickness of the shoe. So I was kind of irritated by that. And I was like, you know what, if I would have sketched it out, like they said, maybe I would have, because I eyeball pretty well, but like the, it just needs to be like a little bit longer on the nail or she needs to be a little bit smaller. Her face is a little bit rounder when it should be a little bit more oval to the sides, you know? So next episode, like I said, we're going to try a little sketching, but I really, I still like how it turned out. I still think these are very cute. And again, people are not comparing the picture right next to your nail. So you can compare it right now and you can see the, I can see like the big differences. That's why I was kind of mad when I was doing these. But once you take the picture away, you're like, oh, okay, it's not that, it's not like that different. So um, but yeah, next time I try a little sketch sketch and I think I'm going to just, just try different methods, you know, to keep improving. I want to make sure this year I'm not just doing the same stuff. I get a little bit better. I do a little bit of harder things and I just keep showing you guys new stuff and I don't just stick with what I'm doing just because I'm used to that. I just want to try some new stuff. So yay. But I think she's really cute and just coming out great. As you guys know, I still love my daughter tool. I love this daughter tool. It's super, super mini. I got it from an art store. It's the tiniest daughter tool I've ever had, but I absolutely love it. And uh, an art store, a nail store, sorry. <laughs> so I still use it all the time for little circles and stuff like that. And I do recommend getting a super tiny daughter tool because it's super helpful. And then you can just use your brush to build out from that circle. All right, and this is Maggie, just about done. They just turned out really cute. I really like her color combination, it's especially with these new colors. So we're just top coating with our little d, &D top coat, the gold bottle. And then now I'm gonna show you guys how to make a star. So this is real time, not sped up. You guys can see how slow I actually draw. So first I start with a dot. I do this with every star. The bigger the dot, the bigger the star. So it's up to you. And now I just use my daughter tool and I just slowly start to make the star from the dot. So I usually do that first line up the top first so I know which direction I want the star to be um, and that first top line will tell you that and I just build it off from there I go very slowly um, and these ones these stars I didn't need them to be like perfect exact stars so they could be more dramatic like pulling in one direction or the other but I think I chose a good star to like give you as an example um, so now I'm just filling it out you just go by little triangles make sure you're keeping the star in kind of the direction you want it to go this is kind of hard to explain but so okay for example this line that I'm drawing right now needs to be connect with that top diagonal line so it's just one straight line that's what's important about making a star the top section and the bottom section need to line up and that's what gives it that it would look a little wonky like say if it was like parallel to it but it was a little to the right then it would look kind of weird so you just want to make it 
the same steady line. And if you just keep that for every single angle that's opposing it, then you'll be good. So that was the star. I don't know if I explained that well, but hopefully I did. And now we are top coding. I just did stars. I was going to do music notes because she plays the guitar, but I didn't add the guitar. So I was like, the music notes don't make sense. So I just did a top coat, made it all glossy. And now I wanted to grab some matte and make the stars matte. So they kind of popped over the glossy because I loved that so much when I did it for Billy and Mandy. I did the opposite though. I did matte for the background and then glossy for the characters. I think it'll just look so fun. And I'm definitely going to be adding that to more sets as moving forward. But there I am just filling it in. And then I'll show you guys an example in just a bit when it's all done and matted. And there it is matte top coat beautiful like that's so fun i feel like it's just like it's kind of subtle but it's kind of fun to just look at that and see the mat on there and there it is all done i tried to go simple today not five characters you know that was hard for me but here it is beautiful a buzz about maggie i hope you guys enjoyed my first video back i can't wait to see you in the next one i will have the next one up soon because i have not been posting a lot so i'll have it up soon and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day see you in the next one Bye bye